like. Hello guys. I'm walking in to lunch with Aaron and our friend Danny and they're talking about Tom's shoes. Oh, are they? Um, it's pretty funny. And I told Aaron that I was going to kill her if she showed up looking like a supermodel again because I don't feel like getting dressed. And she's like, oh no, I'm not going to look nice today. Because she's I'm gonna full go of walk crap. Afterwards Look at that. Switch my pumps out of it. Unfreaking oh, really Anyway, we are going to lunch, and um, I have a hair in my mouth. <laughs> no, you're not in it, but I have. I would say that's quite a transformation from Pilates. Well, that would assume that I actually went to Pilates today. Uh, Did you just go Pilates? I, I intended on going to Pilates. I'm my um, she had to reschedule because she double booked. And she wanted to push it back an hour. I'm like, no, that's okay. Oh, so that's why you look so fresh. Yeah, so, but <laughs> then instead of, like, getting ready and, and doing something, I, I, I am in black light. Hang on. Instead of doing... I don't know how you do this. I instead of, you um, like, I would like, getting ready and, like, done. doing my happen. hair, I ended up editing a video, two videos, and up and, and wow. working on social media stuff, and then getting in a fight with Jake, so... Way not up to date with my videos. So, I was racing out the door, as usual, and then I thought, oh, no, they're probably sitting there wondering where I am, and we all pulled in, all three of us at the same time. Yes. Okay, into Neiman and Marcus. I'm just gonna, because I want to look around... That's a cute pillow. Love. How much is that cute pillow? Okay, put the you pillow down. I love it that much. I like this pillow. That one. I like these bright colors. I love that turquoise oh, one. Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm not buying a $100 pillow for my dog to chew on. Mm -mm. That's craziness. I can't believe it. Good old fashioned tuna fish sandwich. Look at Aaron. This is cracking me up. <laughs> that is a pretty, it's called the greens, grains, and nuts. Nuts. And Just this, like me. The only, the only salmon. Salmon. It's so pretty. It is pretty. I'm so, I'm such a peasant. Only I would order a sandwich at Neiman Marcus. This is such a ladies who lunch kind of place, and, and they got ladies who lunch kind of food, and I got like deli food at oh Neiman God. Marcus. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna have wider. <laughs> <laughs> All the women here are wearing like, their high heel pumps and their designer bags. It's cracking me up. I love people watching here. Hey guys, back from a shopping trip. Shane's favorite thing in the world to eat, and probably one of mine. Are you gonna wear my person? Okay, is Hawaiian bread with spinach dip. It's what he requested for his birthday snack that he's still stacking on. Here's your bread, babe. He's not feeling great though, so he doesn't want to be on camera. He's a little tummy ache. Why he's eating spinach dip then is beyond me. What are they? H&B brand spinach dip. And thank you to everyone who told me about the refrigerated tortillas. Did you see these, Shane? They're, they're tortilla, just raw tortillas, and you cook them up fresh in the skillet. It's like $1.75 for 20 so totally psyched for that. It's my little grocery haul. Oh, and Shane, I know you're very excited to see this. Brown sugar pop tarts, ACB brand though. Cool? Okay. All right, and since we're going out of town tomorrow and I have a meeting, I just got frozen lasagna for the familia. Is that good? Will you eat that? We're going out of town Wednesday. We're going out of town Wednesday. Remember, we're going to Dallas. Yay! Dallas! That's the way. What? We leave um, like seven, I think. In the morning? No, at night. We'll be here all day Wednesday. I guess. 
salad. And then Michael's happy. Hi, our booty. We just got nominal stuff. Some more blueberries. So yeah, that's my grocery haul. How's the sponge chip? Amaze balls. I know. I'm gonna make some from scratch later. It's healthier that way. And I'm gonna put water chips in that thing, so it's like got a little crunch. Did you just curl your lip? Okay. All right, I'm gonna go see what's wrong with Mr. Shane. Not feeling great. I am en route to the tanning, tanning salon? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. Miss, what am I doing? Palm Beach Tan is what it's called. It's hard for me to look at the camera because when I wash my face, I got soap in my eye and it's a little foggy in one contact. Michael graciously offered to drive me. Um, I don't know why, but thanks, babe. Well, it's late night. Late night, well, night it's 9.30. It's a Monday, honey. Summer night. Though. Summer, so we're done. Summer schedule, and I am trying something new. Careful, there's someone next to us. I read that um, to get a good tan, you shouldn't shave your legs immediately before you self tan or spray tan. Um, that with newly shaven legs, the self tanner can get in the pores and it'll make you look like you have dots. So the idea is to shave tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna bake myself in Mystic Tan. I'm gonna choose the medium level and I'm gonna smell like a funky cookie, but luckily Michael has no sense of smell, so we have no idea what oh, he's sleeping the dogs, next to. The dogs are gonna be all over you. And the dogs like the smell of like decaying flesh, so I don't think that they're gonna mind if I don't smell great. And then in the morning I'll wake up and be all processed and wash myself off. So, I don't know if anybody, if you guys knew this, but Michael, fun fact, Michael cannot smell, right babe? That's correct. Like nothing. No sense of smell. No sense of smell. Sense of because, old. how old, was it 16? Yeah, I don't know. You don't 16. remember? It was about 16. About maybe 15? Let's no, give it. 16. Okay, it was 16. He was a catcher for baseball. Yeah. And he was behind the plate, and there was a play at the plate, and he flipped his protective face mask off right. to have a better line of sight. And what happened? I broke my nose. The guy that was running into me broke my nose. Did he come in with an elbow? He did. The guy ran in with, with an in elbow. Came in with an elbow up. And, and uh, just... got him out, but... You, you made the out? Yeah. He was out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was your batting um, at-bats for that day prior to? What do you mean? What were, what were your stats prior to the blow to the face? I'm sure I was hitting pretty well back in those days. I was a good player. No, I meant like for the game. Were you like two for two? Or I don't do recall remember? that. I don't remember. But did you finish the game? I did finish. We had like a, you know, one of the dads was like a uh, orthopedic doctor, orthopedic oh, surgeon. He came out and he just kind of tried to reset the bone in the nose or the cartilage. Yeah, that did. But, but the, uh, nerve, the olfactory nerve was olfactory damaged. The olfactory was severed. And, and, we, did, uh, and I, we actually went to an ENT. We did go times. to an ENT to see if they could fix it. And once that nerve is damaged, it's irreversible. It has come in handy more often than not over the last 21 yeah, years. Let's talk about when I uh, cleaned out. Oh down my god. Here okay, this is a quick story, guys, because we're almost there. College, yeah. So, when I was a senior in college, I had an apartment with a roommate, and we thought we were with the University of Illinois. We thought we'd be cool and keep the apartment through the summer and not sublet it because we thought it was only about two, two and a half hours away from where we lived with our parents that we would have a little like weekend getaway that we could get away from our parents because we were back living at home after graduation. Well, we left after graduation, didn't think about things like cleaning out the refrigerator. We turned off the power, we put the power on um, vacation status and um, left. So that was mid-May. We came back the weekend after the 4th of July for a big Greek reunion, not like Greek, like sorority and fraternity reunion. And Michael came down with me, we were dating. <laughs> And I don't know where the apartment, ma maybe the apartment manager was a student too. Everybody was gone for the summer and we walked into the building and we had a third floor apartment. And from the first floor entry, it smelled not so good. By the time you got to the second level, my roommate and I had, were concerned that somebody had died in the building and we were going to find a dead body. The stench was emanating from our apartment and when we opened the front door, we immediately ran through because directly across from the door was uh, doors to the patio ran to the patio doors and proceeded to vomit over the side of the balcony because the stench was overwhelming. And Michael stood there in the middle of the apartment that smelled of death and decay and said, what's going on? What's the big deal? And I cleaned it up. So my roommate and I went to the mall and Michael cleaned the refrigerator. And I cleaned the whole apartment. And that was when I knew I had to marry that man. Yeah. No, actually I knew that after a first date, but that sealed the deal for me. And it's just coming handy many, many years. Yep. Changing since. diapers. Changing, cleaning a vomit. Cleaning a That's the best. 
Because the smell of vomit makes you want to vomit, but he has does not have that reflex. No, nope. don't have it. But it also isn't good when I would leave him alone with the kids when they were still in diapers, and his only way to know if they had pooped was to stick his finger in the diaper, which is disgusting. Why? That's gross. I can't believe you did that. Boy, I was a good dad back then. Oh, <laughs> God. So that's a little, little known fact, if you didn't already know that about Michael, that uh, he has no sense of smell, which has come in handy more often than not. So but. you should do an icebreaker game with your viewers. One of the things we used to do when we were in an office setting, like when I was hiring new people for the uh, office, oh my God. is we would do two truths and a lie. And you just do Seriously? kind of a round table discussion at is lunch. This, wait, 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 two truths and a lie. Is this after they've already been hired? Yeah, after okay. they've already, okay. no, I'm not part of the hiring process. Oh my gosh, just as an okay. icebreaker thought... to kind of break people two truths you know, from and a lie. Their, uh, you know, formalities just to kind of relax people a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you just do two truths and a lie and they write You're it out. You're making me a little nauseous paper. with the leaving it out. Um, okay. But anyway, and then you just kind of announce the three items and then people have to determine which of those three are, is actually a lie. Uh huh. Okay. It, it's fun, believe me. I no, no, no. I've never, I, I've good. seen other people do that. I've never. But I've the never reason done I it. said that is because I oftentimes will say I don't have a sense of smell and most people will say, ah, oh, that's. Impossible. That's impossible. That's that's a that's a lie. I have that's nothing interesting about me that I think I, I can't think of two truths and a lie that I could tell everyone it's fun. that it's they a don't game. already know. You can do it with family members too. Yeah, but we all know everything about each other. Uh, not if the family members have been away that's or true. they've gone to college, you know, okay. things like that. Are we doing this now? Because I can't think of anything. No. <laughs> okay. Maybe another time, guys. Two truths and a lie. Let us know what you think. We can yeah. come up with games for Michael and I Pretty to play cool, with you. Right? No, I think it's cool. It's We're going to do some road tripping. That's a road trip oh, game. Oh, no. Other other road trip games. Oh, no. oh my gosh. That was, a, that was a serious bump. Okay, we are pulling into the parking lot of Palm Beach Tan. So I'm going to go make myself now when I come out of the tanning salon I'm not any different I don't add the color so I'm gonna look this color when I I think I can't remember last time you were pretty dark last time I was and uh, then I proceed to while, get darker guess, huh? yeah okay I'm gonna be all nice and tan for my meetup on uh, Thursday oh, or orange good. no I didn't turn orange last time it was a lovely golden shade of non naturally occurring skin tone okay. serious bumps in this parking lot yeah and I thought what better time than to show you what's in my carry-on bag. I've got a new bag, so I'm not gonna be able to review how well it performs. You'll hear back from me after the trip, but I'm really excited because it has a lot of room for a lot of things. 